not put it on into the cat litter box. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Alex. I do all kinds of beauty things and usually natural products, but today's gonna be one of those different videos. So today I'm actually doing a collaboration with Beauty Lashes 19. We just wanted to collab together and she does the most amazing eyeliner I've ever seen in my life. So jealous, but she is awesome. So you guys should check her out down below. Her link is down below and you can just tell her I sent you or you can just subscribe to her because she's awesome. And also if you like this channel, don't forget to subscribe to me and I will be sending you even more videos. So today we are doing a Christmas look. Don't use primer because I'm fairly new to makeup so I don't have all of these things. But I'm gonna be using the Lacura. It's apparently an anti-wrinkle cream but it's actually good as a makeup base. So we're gonna test that out today. Um, this is actually a brand from Aldi I believe. If not, they carry it. So we're just gonna rub this in very gently. Now that we have that applied, and it's, since it's winter, our lips get really dry. I don't know if you can see mine. They're kind of dry, so we're going to go ahead and put on some chapstick because we want them to be a little moisturized by the end of the video. So at this point, if you're a kind of person who wears foundation, you would go ahead and put on your foundation now. You guys know I usually don't because I don't really have that much to cover up. So we're going to go in with our concealer, and we're going to have a pump right here today. And we're just going to cover up under the eyes. We're going to use it as eyeshadow primer because that's what we do. Just checking. I have a few pimples here. So we're going to go ahead and blend this in. You can use your fingers or a brush. Now because we're only, well I'm only using concealer, you want to make sure that it's blended in. Because if not, you're going to see these crazy spots going on your face. And then I'm going to use some powder to set it. I'm using the e.l.f. once again, the Prime and Stay Finishing Powder and Translucent Fair Light Color. So I'll be right back. So for this, I'm going to be using the LA Colors Lucky Palette. It has these two greens that I'll be using. So we're going to be using this green. I'm going to put it in the crease. We're going to take our fluffy brush, dip it into this color right here. And we're just going to put it in our crease. Again, I don't want this really bright green, so the fact that it's not showing up much is actually okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do the second layer. Like I said, I don't want it to be very bright, so this color's okay. So they're green, but they're not so green that it's so distracting. So next, getting into the fun part, I'm going to take this packing brush, which is from Wet n Wild. I'm going to take this color here. And we're just going to put that on the outside. Just like that. We're just going to pack it on, not blend it, just pack it on top. The really pretty green in that. That primer is really showing it up really well. So, take the same color and I'm going to put it on the outer side. So kind of like making... Uh, like a color here, a color there, a color there, but we're going to blend it all in later, so it's not going to look like this. So we're just going to go ahead and leave a little bit, kind of like a halo eye, but I'll kind of make like a U shape. So we're going to add some more color here, color here, U shape it. Now you see that there's just a little bit of patch. That's where we're going to put our pink. You guys are going to see the difference between LA Colors and MAC really quickly here. And like I said, it's okay if it's not perfect. Don't worry about it. We're going to blend it in. We're just going to pack that on top. A new brush and we want to blend it in because right now it's looking a little harsh. So we want to blend it in so it kind of looks like it belongs there. So after it's blended in, this is what it should look like. Anyone who watches my channel is familiar with my chocolate palette. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take Tempt, which is the black color right here, and I'm just going to put it close to my bottom waterline because I kind of want to smoke it out a little bit. This is what we have so far. It's been smoked out a little bit. Now I'm going to take the Delicious, which is the one I broke in my first video. If you guys haven't seen it, you should check it out. We're going to highlight the inner corners now because we want this look to just pop. We want someone to see it and be like, 
Oh my gosh, your makeup, wow. So we're gonna go ahead and just highlight this. We're gonna pack it on so we can see that little, that glow that's going on there. So I'm gonna take the e.l.f. This is the glow blush and I'm gonna go ahead and apply it. So we're gonna go ahead and, hmm. I don't really see any color. There's a ton of fallout, oh my goodness. The last and final step, I'm gonna be using this color Mulberry Mauvin. This is an e.l.f. and I kind of dropped it in the cat litter earlier on in the video, but don't worry, I have disinfected it because I would never, ever, ever touch it again. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead. Actually, I think I should have probably thrown this away. All right, so go ahead. So we're gonna go ahead and take our lip smackers. I'm just gonna take the gloss out of the bottom and just put a little layer on top because we want this to be glowy. And it smells really nice, oh my goodness. So you can definitely see a difference and made the wand really purple, pinkish color, but you guys can see the difference right now, which is awesome. The last thing I'm gonna do to make this look pop, I'm gonna take this white eyeliner and I'm gonna put it just in the corners of my eye underneath the water. Okay guys, so here's the look. Um, I kind of did what I thought was a halo eye. Um, I didn't want the pink to be too over the top, so I kind of blended it in from the beginning. As you can see, the lips are very shiny, which is what I wanted. And the lips are really just looking awesome. And the cheeks, you can see are kind of glowy. Um, when I move because of all that shimmer that's in there. We smoked out the bottom line and we put in some highlights in the corners. You can see they're very poppin'. So yeah, here's a Christmas look. It's not just your average look. It's cute, it's really fun. And I guarantee you that not a lot of people are gonna be going after the same look. So I hope that you guys really enjoy it. Thanks so much for watching and I can't wait to see you guys again. Bye guys.